Hindi pa sumisikat ang araw ay nagsisimula na sa paglilingkod ang mga volunteers ng feeding program ng San Lorenzo Ruiz Parish. Abala na sila sa paghahanda at pagluluto ng tanghalian sa higit dalawandaang bata at ilang senior sa mga mission areas na nakapalibot sa parokya. Ito ang naging buhay nila simula pa noong 2019. Araw-araw ay sumasakay ng tricycle, lumalakad sa mga masisikip na eskinita, gilid ng creek o makipot na tulay, maihatid lamang ang mga munting baunan sa mga tahanan. Hindi naging hadlang ang pandemya sa paghahatid ng tulong sa mga bata upang mapanatiling malakas ang kanilang pangangatawan. Nagpapasalamat kami sa lahat ng magigiting na volunteers ng SLRP Feeding Program, lalong-lalo na sa mga foundations and benefactors para sa kanilang walang sawang suporta. Inaanyayahan po namin kayo na tumulong, mag-abot ng makakaya upang mapanatiling buhay, mulat at kumikilos ang San Lorenzo.
A blessed afternoon to all. This Eucharistic celebration is being streamed through the Facebook page of San Lorenzo Ruiz Parish. We enjoin you to dress appropriately and actively and reverently participate in our celebration. Please kneel for the panalangin para sa banal na bukasyon. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O mapagpalang Ama, taos puso kaming nagpapasalamat sa mga biyayang patuloy mong ipinagkakaloob sa sangkatauhan sa gitna ng makabagong panahon, pagsubok at panganib. Dakilang Ama sa langit, itulot mo na ang bawat tahanan ipunla una sa lahat ang pag-ibig sa Diyos, pangalawa sa kapwa. Pagkalooban mo ng ibayong paglingap at pag-ingat ang mga kabataan. Nawa maitalagan nila ang sarili sa araw-araw na panalangin, tahakin ang daang tungo sa dakilang misyon ng paglilingkod. Manaignawa ang bukal na hangaring ilaan ang kanilang buhay bilang handog sa iyo. Gawin mo silang matatag sa pagtanggap ng paghihirap at paglaban sa tukso tungo sa adhikaing maging tagapagpalaganap ng iyong salita at tagapagligtas ng mga kaluluwa. Sa pamamagitan ni Yesu Cristo, aming manunubos at ni Maria, aming mahal na ina, ang sambayan ng Katolika ay taimtim na nagsusumamo, dinggin ng aming mga dalangin, nawa mapuspos na maalaw, maalab na pagtugon ang mga magulang, mga kabataan, mga mananampalataya at ang simbahan sa malawakang panawagan, pananalangin at pagkilos sa pagyabong ng banal na bokasyon sa pagpapari, pagmamadre, buhay relihiyoso at relihiyosa. Amen. Please stand for the angels. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, made by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today's celebration is the first Sunday of Lent. 
the theme of our celebration, Fighting Temptation with God's Word. On this first Sunday of Lent, the liturgy invites us to reflect on Jesus, the new Adam, and the new Israel. He was tested like the first human beings and like Israel in the desert, but unlike them, he overcame all temptations in the power of God's Word. This is a wonderful example for us as we embark on the long pilgrimage toward the dramatic events of the Holy Week and the glory of Easter. Today, being National Migrant Sunday, we are also reminded to pray for the millions of Filipinos whose lives are affected in one way or another by the phenomenon of migration. Let us offer this Eucharist for this intention. The celebrant of today's Mass is Rev. Father Vincent Bat, SCJ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today is the first day, first Sunday of Lenten season. And Jesus taught us how to fight temptation happen in our life. We cannot fight temptation by ourselves. We need God's help. And Jesus taught us, we only fight temptation, only overcome temptation by praying and fasting like Jesus did in the desert today. So we follow, we imitate Jesus. Be aware of the temptation happen in our life. And together with Jesus, we fight temptation by praying, by fasting. Today is also the National Migrant Sunday. We are also reminded to pray for the million of Filipinos whose lives are affected in one way or another by the phenomenon of migration. Let us offer this Eucharist for this intention. We also pray for each of us to be always faithful to God. And may God grant us peace and good health in our life. Now let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery.
no May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant Almighty God, through the yearly observances of Holy Land, that we may grow in understanding of the riches hidden in Christ, and by worthy conduct pursue their effects. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Today's text offers an allegoric presentation of how the first sin, commonly known as original sin, took place. In this dramatized account, we have a striking contrast between the caring love of the Creator for his privileged creatures and their ungrateful disobedience. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God formed man out of the clay of the ground and blew into his nostrils the breath of life, and so man became a living being. Then the Lord God planted a garden in Eden in the east and placed there the man whom he had formed. Out of the ground, the Lord God made various trees grow that were delightful to look at and good for food, with the tree of life in the middle of the garden and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Now the serpent was the most cunning of all the animals that the Lord God had made. The serpent asked, the woman. Did God really tell you not to eat from any of the trees in the garden? The woman answered the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden. It is only about the fruit of the tree in the middle of the garden that God said, You shall not eat it or even touch it, lest you die. But the serpent said to the woman, you certainly will not die. No. God knows well that the moment you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like gods, who know what is good and what is evil. The woman saw that the tree was good for food, pleasing to the eyes, and desirable for gaining wisdom. So she took some of its fruit and ate it. And she also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they realized that they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made loincloths for themselves. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out of your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and a willing spirit sustain in me. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. In this short passage, St. Paul reminds us of the salvation brought to us by the obedience of Jesus Christ in contrast with the misery caused to all 
by the disobedience of Adam and Eve. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, through one man, sin entered the world, and through sin, death, and thus, death came to all men inasmuch as all sinned. For if the transgression of the one, death came to reign through that one, how much more will those who receive the abundance of grace and of the gift of justification come to reign in life through the one, Jesus Christ? <clears throat> in conclusion, just as through one transgression, condemnation came upon all, so through one righteous act, acquittal and life came to all. For just as through the disobedience of the one man, the many were made sinners, so through the obedience of the one, the many will be made righteous. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus was led by the Spirit into the desert to be tempted by the devil. He fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. And afterwards, he was hungry. The tempter approaches and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command that these stones become loaf of bread. He said in reply, It is written, One does not live alone on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and made him stand on the parapet of the temple and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down. For it is written, He will command his angel concerning you, and with their hands they will support you. Let your dust your foot against a stone. Jesus answered him, Again it is written, You shall not put the Lord in the guard to the test. Then he devour, took him up to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in their magnificence. And he said to him, All this I shall give to you, if you will prostrate yourself and worship me. At this, Jesus said to him, Get away, Satan. It is written, The Lord your God shall your worship, and him alone shall you serve. Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came and ministered to him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brother and sister, the temptations come to every one of us. 
even we like or don't like the temptation still there no wonder that temptations come from the evil whom Jesus called the father of liar when temptation come to us we have a choice either to follow them like Adam and Eve in the first reading we have heard in the book of Genesis or to overcome the temptation like Jesus in the gospel after the sin of Adam and Eve everything was totally changed the way human related to each other and to God was now damaged for the first time the book of Genesis tells us they realized they were naked and had to wear clothes in other words lust has now crept into humanity destroying the beauty of perfect relationships instead of allowing ourselves to get into the mess we have a uh, the example of Jesus in the gospel today he suffered real temptations the letter to the Hebrews remind us that Jesus was tempted in every way that we are but he did not sin we have begun the season a plant our model during Lenten season is Jesus in the desert overcoming temptation we make many sacrifices and acts of self denial during Lent and we fast we want to pray more during Lent and donate from our surplus to help the poor all these things we do during Lent are an expression of something inside ourselves that we want to do during Lent season to give up sin by overcoming temptation in other words what we really want to be give up during Lent is sin you want to give up sins because it destroys us and only drag us down and hurt our relationship with each other and with God we want to give up sin during Lenten season because we do not want to be tricked and deceived and lie to buy temptation anymore we want to give up sin during Lent because the temptations conceal from us the true road to wholeness and integrity giving us instead the illusion of a quick an easy way to find what is really good and worthwhile in life we want to give up sin during Lent because temptation are sneaky offering us what appears to be a quick fix but is in reality quick disaster we want to give up sin during Lent because we know that following a temptation into sins is a irrational and has no sense therefore we want to be particularly attentive when our brain power 
is lower. For example, anchor hold, or when we are tired of under stress. Dear brother and sister, about all, we want to give up sin during Lenten season because we love Jesus. And when we give in to temptation and sin, we hurt Jesus. Every time we commit the sin, we are become the soldiers scourging Jesus at the pillar during his passion. Every time we sin, we are giving a slap to Jesus. And every time we sin, we put a crown of thorns on Jesus. Every time we sin, we are the soldier driving nail into his hands to crucify Jesus. We love Jesus and do not want to hurt him anymore than we have already done. This is why we want to give up sin. Jesus in the desert overcame temptation. Because we love Jesus, we too want to overcome temptation and sin during the desert of land. By dying to sin during land, may we rise to new life with Jesus at Easter. Amen. Understand. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, life from life, true God from true God. Begotten, not made consubstant with the Father. With the Father. Through, Through him all things was made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. And rose again on the third day in accordance, in accordance with, with the, the scriptures. He, he ascended, ascended into, into heaven and seated, seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come, come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his, and his kingdom, kingdom will have, have no end. end. I, believe I believe in the Holy Spirit, Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from, from the Father and the, Son. And the Son. Who with, with the, the Father and the Son, and the Son is adored and glorified, glorified who has spoken, spoken through the prophets. I, I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic, and apostolic church. church. I, I confess one, one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In the spirit of Lenten season, let us approach the Lord with full confidence and submit to Him the needs of mankind, of our community, and our all. Let us respond be, Lord, make us obedient to You. Lord, make us obedient to You. For the Church, the community of believers, may she always overcome the temptation to seek power riches and prestige and instead remain faithful to the plan of god for her in imitation of jesus let us pray lord make us yeah, obedient to you for the holy father our bishop and all our spiritual leaders may they bravely continue to proclaim the demands of god's word and encourage us with their exemplary life let us pray Lord, make us obedient to you. 
for our Filipino migrants and all migrants all over the world. May they remain faithful to their moral principles and their Catholic faith in spite of their being deprived of the support they used to enjoy in their country of origin. Let us pray. Lord, Amen. make us obedient to you. For the families of the immigrants, may they endure the difficulties caused by the physical separation in a spirit of faith and hope, always looking forward to the day when they will be reunited with their loved ones. Let us pray. Lord, make us obedient to you. For our parish community, our families, and each of us, may we live this Lenten season with a constant availability to do the Lord's will without giving in to any temptation, no matter how attractive it may appear to our senses or our pride. Let us pray. Lord, make us obedient to you. Let us pray in silence for personal intentions and for all the intentions offered in this Holy Mass. Let us pray. Lord, make us obedient to you. Lord God, we thank you for granting us to begin this Lenten season with the affirming episodes of Jesus' victory over Satan. Guide us, Lord, grant all the migrants and protect us with your loving care through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, brother and sister, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Give us the right dispositions, O Lord, we pray, to make these offerings, for with them we celebrate the beginning of this Venerable and sacred time, through Christ our Lord. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, by abstaining forty long days from earthly food, He consecrated through His fast the pattern of our Lenten observance and by overturning all the snare of the ancient serpent, taught us to cast out the leaven of malice, so that celebrating worthily the Paschal mystery, we might pass over at last to the eternal Paschal feast. And so with the company of angels and saints, as we sing the hymn of your praise, with our end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have habit worthy to be the presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Roberto our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. 
that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Apostle, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be called to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is your forever and ever. Uh, uh. At the Savior command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who take away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who go to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Renew now with heavenly bread, by which faith is nourished, hope increase, and charity strengthened. We pray, O Lord that we may learn to hunger for Christ, the truth and living bread, and try to live by every word which proceeds from your mouth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please all kneel for the prayer for the Asian Synodal Continental Assembly. Loving Father, we thank you for the gift of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. He lived among us and led us from darkness of sin to the light of your salvation. He has destroyed the barrier that separated us from each other. He has made us one through his loving obedience to you when he offered his life for us on the cross. We thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit who continues to guide us and teach us the way we must go as your church. We thank you for the fruits of the Synod on Synodality that have opened us to genuine communion, active participation, and emboldened mission. We humbly pray for the success of the Asian Synodal Continental Assembly. May your spirit continue to set our hearts aflame with your love for all peoples and nations. Continue to open our eyes and hearts to follow the way of your Son, Jesus, who taught us to walk with each other as brothers and sisters to be his body, his church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. Una, ang Kadiwa Mobile Market ng Department of Agriculture ay muling nasa ating parokya ngayong linggo mula sa umaga ng 6 a.m. hanggang 1 p.m. Ikalawa, mayroon po tayong second collection para sa pagpapagawa ng Kristong Hari Parish 
Shrine of the Youth sa Diocese of Novaliches. Ikatlo, muling inaanyayahan ng lahat sa ating Way of the Cross na gaganapin tuwing alas 4.30 ng hapon or 4.30 p.m. sa lahat ng biyernes ng kwaresma. Magkakaroon din po tayo ng Way of the Cross sa iba't ibang area sa ating parokya. Mangyari lang pong makipagugnayan sa inyong BEC Area Coordinator para sa detalye. At panghuli, sa ikaapat ng Marso, Sabado, ay gaganapin ang Don Rosary sa ikalima ng umaga or 5 a.m. Ang mga mamumuno sa ating ros rosary ay ang Santa Cruz, Machaca, UP Creekside, St. Dominic 4 at Tierra Verde 1. Ang prayer leaders at sponsor ng fellowship pagkatapos ng misa sa 6 a.m. ay ang buklura ng UP professors. Ang 2,000 Hail Marys naman ay agad susunod pagkatapos ng 6 a.m. mass at fellowship. Maraming salamat po. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your head for blessing. May bountiful blessing, O Lord, we pray, come down upon your people, that hope may grow in tribulation, virtue be strengthened in temptation, and eternal redemption be assured through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.